Hey everyone, Drew Jablonowski with Garage Gurus. Here today we're going to go ahead and talk about cleaning rotors, why that's important, and the proper prep for these rotors for installation. So you're asking yourself, why am I washing my brake, uh, brake rotors? Why am I not using that cool stuff in the can called brake parts cleaner? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. One is it's changed its formulation over the years, and now we can actually see that it's leaving an oily residue behind. Now that oily residue, when you're breaking in your brake pads, can leave behind a uh, white powdery uh, coating on the brake pad friction, and that can also cause grunting and groaning noise, which nobody wants grunting and groaning noises in your brakes, right? The second thing is the brake parts cleaner doesn't demagnetize a rotor. So when these are getting machined and the manufacturers, uh, they have to cut these rotors. And when they cut these rotors, you get small metal, uh, fine metal chips and particles, and they magnetize to the rotor. Using a detergent, non-scented or non-fragrant detergent, that'll help eliminate uh, those metal uh, fragments by demagnetizing the rotor, and it'll get any residual oils from shipping off of there as well. So we're gonna put it in the uh, sink here. We're gonna use some hot water. We're gonna use some uh, non-fragrant detergent. Rush, uh, brush it with a uh, hard bristle brush and then rinse it off and we should be good to go. So now we'll get our detergent on there. Scrub it down with our bristle brush. Go to the other side, repeat the same process. And then rinse it off with that hot water. Now our rotor's all set. We can just blow this off uh, with our air gun or wipe it down with a lint-free cloth, and we can go ahead and install it on the car. My name is Drew Jablonowski with Garage Gurus. For more tech tips, you can follow us at garageguru.tech. Have a great day.